Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade your hard drive in your PS4 Slim. It may be a little bit skinnier, but you can still replace the hard drive out of it. And it's pretty cool. We're going to use an SSD to upgrade here, but you can use a standard um, 2.5 inch last sort of laptop style hard drive or a hybrid drive that's sort of SSD and standard uh, spinning, spinning media drive as well too, if you wanna use that. Um, we're gonna use these SSDs that we have gotten from Kingston here, which is pretty cool. We have the HyperX Savage and we have the old school HyperX 3K we're gonna use just to show you a couple of different examples of how the fit kind of works inside of here. We are also gonna need a USB drive with at least two gigabytes of storage. We have the Data Traveler M30 coming from Kingston here, more than enough storage for what we're going to be doing here. Um, Cause you're gonna need to download the firmware onto this USB drive to install it and you can install the latest version, which is 4.0. And you need a Phillips head drive, something small and tiny like this. And that's pretty much it. So to upgrade on the PS4 here, what you need to do on the Slim is actually go right here to the back. And if you notice here on the back, there's a little sort of a plastic piece here that protects the hard drive. So you just need to sort of slide it off like that. It comes off pretty easily, a little bit easier than I would really like it to. But you can see right there that there's your hard drive right there that you can pull out and slide out. But there's one screw here, this little PlayStation style, got the little logo on its screw that we're gonna need to unscrew here. And that's pretty easy to do. Just kind of take it like that. Just gently unscrew. And that is it. All right, once we've done that, put that to the side here, we can go ahead and pull out the drive, which we should be able to do, simply by just pulling up on the band. And it dislodges itself, there we go. Go ahead and put the PS4 down there. Now we have the hard drive cage here, and there's a few more screws we're gonna need to unscrew from here as well too, to get the drive into here, as you can see. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we got the screw out here, we have the drive here. It looks like they used a HGST drive. I've actually never heard of this brand before of hard drive they're using inside the PS4 Slim. I know I saw some other upgrade videos. Some people had Toshiba's inside of it. Never heard of HGST. Interesting there. I have to look them up at some point. But it's a 500 gig hard drive that they do include with the PS4 Slim. And we're gonna go ahead and do the upgrade. Now, if we use this uh, sort of the um, HyperX 3K, the old drive, it's sort of a bit of a standard format in terms of its uh, uh, thickness and you should be able just to align the holes accordingly on it and just kind of slide it in there and just start screwing it in. But if you want to use something like the HyperX uh, Savage here instead, you're going to notice that this is a little bit slimmer, so it doesn't exactly align to it. So to really do that, you're going to need to make sure that you have the uh, holes aligned properly. You're going to have to kind of hold it up there a little bit to kind of get that going. So we're going to go ahead and use this drive to go ahead and do our upgrade. Just got to make sure everything aligns up properly. All right, and there we go. Hard drive screwed in just like that. Now we just need to slide this right back into the PS4. Pick this up, goes in this way. Just wanna make sure it aligns up properly. I should just kind of push in nice and smoothly just like that. And then we turn it over here to the side and we get that PlayStation screw that we had right there. And we screw this right back in if it wants to go in nice and even, there we go. And we go ahead and screw it back in just like this. Pretty easy to do. All right, make sure that's nice and fit on there. Let me snap the cover back on. And there you have it. Our PS4 hard drive is now upgraded. Once you have your hard drive installed into the PS4, next thing you wanna do is you wanna take that USB flash drive that you're gonna be using to do the installation of the software. You wanna plug that into your computer and then you wanna download the new update. So where you wanna download that is here. You wanna make sure specifically it's system software update 4.0 when you see the new PS4 Slim as a logo here. If you see this one here, now, this isn't the right update. This is the wrong one. You don't want to do this one. You want to do this one here. And then when you get to this page here, even, you, don't, you just don't want to hit download update. No, you need to scroll down all the way down here to where it says perform a new installation of the system software. You click that, and then you go all the way down here to where it says click to start to download. I'm going to click it here temporarily. I already downloaded it. But that download should be somewhere around 850 megabytes or so for the download, which I've actually already done here. 
And then once you've done that, you wanna actually go into your flash drive and there's two places, two things you need to do. You need to create a folder in the root called PS4. And then you wanna make sure you create another folder. This has to be all caps for both of them. This is update. You wanna create that. And then with the update, you wanna pull over that psupdate.pup file and it needs to look exactly and named exactly like this and then drop that file into this folder. And it should read about 870,063 kilobytes. So basically 870 megabytes should be um, shown right here inside the drive itself. When you have it set up like this, now you're ready to do the update, which we can go ahead and jump over and do. Plug your HDMI cable and then hit that power button, hold it down for seven seconds and boot up in the safe mode as you can see we have right on the screen here. Now, when you've done that, you wanna go ahead and hit the uh, PS button and it's gonna give you some options here from restart your PS4, change the resolution, update system software, restore default settings, rebuild the database, initialize PS4, initialize PS4, reinstall system software. This is the one that we wanna choose. Hit okay. And then it's gonna to ask to connect the drive. We already have that connected, hit okay. It's gonna say, please wait. It's gonna say the PS4 will be initialized, all users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to do this? All users and all data will be deleted. Are you sure you want to do this? We don't have anything on this drive, so yes. And we're gonna go ahead and let this initialize. Don't turn off your PS4. It should be a pretty quick installation to set up the software. As you can see here, it's unpacking, preparing to update the system. Kind of going mighty quickly. That's a pretty good thing, good sign to see here. So we're gonna go and let this process and we'll jump right into the setup after this is completed. And here we are, all set up and ready to go. Let's go ahead and jump into the settings. We'll jump in to check that out. We'll go down here to system storage management, verify that our SSD has been installed. Looks like we have 173 gigabytes available. The rest of it is probably taken up in formatting and the operating system there itself. We got everything set up and ready to go. So that's how to upgrade your PS4 Slim's hard drive. Pretty simple and pretty easy just to follow the simple steps. I'll leave a link in the description below to everything that we use in terms of tools and, and software and stuff and anything you wanna buy in terms of uh, hard drives. You wanna pick up a PS4 or a Slim or in, in the hard drive that I used in within this video, I'll leave a link down up below and a couple of the suggestions as well too. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, connect with us on all our social networks, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.